but the capo is a magic uh it's your magic friend i guess is it a magic friend the capo is magic because it makes things bigger because now we've got some can you imagine it was just it would be terrible it's barely different actually but it is what's what's interesting is when you add overdrive all of a sudden things ring out differently when you have a verb on there um, resisted it for too long and wasted years of my life get your capo figure it out it's a huge pain with tuning and all that stuff um, if you ever see me play you'll see that I'm tuning about 50% of the time but that's because I understand the capo is critical so anyway bigger is better uh, I would also say when you have an open position you don't have to hit as many notes for it to fill out <laughs> So capo three, obviously this is in this is in B flat. So depending on what you're playing it in live, maybe you'll get lucky and it's not in a flat key, which just looks like a Scrabble board on the guitar. My my thing when it comes to trying to play bigger is a lot of times I'll program a delay, and then I'll tap another delay on top that's not perfect. It depends. Sometimes you actually want it to be spot on. But the whole idea of delay is, is reflections off a room, right? And, and rooms are all different sizes. So um, <clears throat> I realized for a while I got too hung up on the perfect delay. And it's actually a little bit bigger when you add in sort of your own manual tap to it. It just, I don't know, it's sort of bouncing off of the one that's perfect and just widens it just a little bit. So don't be afraid of that. I've got two DD5s that I can manually tap to work with my perfectly programmed delays. And it's just a little bit bigger, a little wider. Reverb can do the same thing for you. Um, but once again, you're playing with fire, so be careful. Um, work with your sound guy, because uh, you need to.